Gotta make you feel pretty. <laughs> well, I I uh, I just got word from the landfill rat friends. I'm just doing a quick phone video. Uh, Jeremy Bell, um, you guys, I I gotta I gotta be honest. Check out that. Well, you've seen the freaking shirt. Well, I wore it climbing today and falling. <laughs> I just freaking love it. I love it. It's lightweight. It's it's perfect. I just I mean, look at it, friends. Oh. oh. Do you know what I mean? 
Jeremy, I'm not joking you, buddy. It feels wicked. Tweak my freaking shoulder again today. Just overhead stumping. The parks, they want wildlife stumps left and all that, eh? Yeah. Anyways, friends. <laughs> How's every... Whoa, where'd you go? There you are. Let's put you down here again. Let's get you down here on that old. There we go. So so here I sit. Look look at me, friends. Like, look, look at it. It's... You know, it's later in the day, and, and, and the sun is coming down. And I'm in the bunker. In my bunker. <laughs> it, look at this shirt! I, I... I just... McCulloch powered. The goose. Look at it, friends. Chainsaws. McCullough chainsaws. <laughs> I love it, friends. Oh, yeah. Double yeah. <laughs> I'm in a freaking good mood again. Oh. Cotton. <clears throat> Climbing. Falling. Drapes into the, 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 the shalal, hip high shalal in some areas there, you know, just give it her last few days. Good job working for the parks, you know. Uh, remember Brad for the last parks job? I'm a little crazed right now, a little crazed. I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm, a, I'm whipped. I'm whipped actually. Uh, I just put a video out just now. And, uh, I edited it this morning, but I had to leave for work, so I couldn't. I couldn't publish it. Okay. I'm sitting in my little bunker right now, and the landfill rat uh, sent me a message earlier today and said, "Buck and Billy Ray," and decal did too, and said, it, "It's been one year, one year, one year." Since they traveled here, Marius stayed on my couch. Decal, landfill rat. Because the tooth is bent right over. It's hooked, there's a massive hook in this chain. There's a huge aggressive hook in this chain. So, so we can, you can still bring that back, but see how the chain's, see how it's kicking back? I gotta pull back on this because the gut jaw is wiped right out. So this little file, so person what I would do to get this done properly and fast is I would grab the proper size file, which is the seven foot. Hear that? It's, it's working, it, it's going through, it's not really lifting the chain a ton. It's still lifting it because it's probably a bit loose. But I'm running The Englishman. Colin Backshaw. Love you, Colin. Sp Spencer McGinty. Saw, will do, Ryan, uh, just the people that came and helped me build the bunker. Decal spearheaded it. I'll just tell you that right now. He did. He, he spearheaded it. Decal's been a blessing to the family. And that's what he said to me when he emailed me that first time a little over a year ago. Yeah. So I, 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 I guess I just got I just got home and, and I got I got the information about that one year thing and I thought to myself I gotta come out to the bunker where where I I you guys hear me say thanks lots and, and, and I'm grateful for, for all the little things in life and the big things. Well this is a big thing and it has been a big thing for me, a massive thing for me, okay? Friends that we spend time in here. The channel uh, spends time here, right? Um, I spend time in here. I have a wood stove in my freaking bunker. I can come in here and make axes, work on power saws. It's like a shop. Friends, just before I got smashed up 13 years ago in May, it'll be 13 years. Or will it be 14? I think 13. Um, we were going to build a shop. A big shop like it we we were we, we'd been at this house for like oh gosh I don't know enough years we built we bought the freaking place for 150 grand and we'd been paying it off and the business was doing good and I had 
we had some equity in the home, you know, and we did a, an equity loan. We were going to build a shop and fix the house up and to build a motorcycle. That was our plan. We'd been working hard. We thought, let's freaking live a bit. And bang, I went to work one beautiful morning, May 25th, 2006. And bang, I got smacked. And everything changed. In a blink of an eye, friends, in the blink of an eye, everything changed. So you ask me why I'm grateful and why I'm always in a good mood. Friend, I almost died. I, friends, I almost died. And, and I don't say that lightly. I don't, I don't you know, people say, oh, I could have, I could have died. I could have been this. I could have been that. No, I was, I was almost dead. It almost killed me. So, but it didn't. And now this, here we are in the bunker. So decal and all the boys, the landfill rat, Willard, Spence, Saw, Ryan, God, Nick. Who else? I mean, they're up on the freaking door. Landfill rat, Marius, Spencer McGinty, Saw Surgeon, Will Do. I don't know what to say. So I I thought it would be fitting to come in and say hi and say thank you again and happy anniversary, friends. Happy one year anniversary in the bunker. Friends, <laughs> this channel's growing. We're, we're, we're growing, friends. The, the, the channel's growing. I look here and there. I look all over the place. I know. I'm excited, friends, for this year. I, I, I'm excited. There's some, there's some interesting things that have been happening behind the scenes, so to speak. They have been. And I haven't really been, I haven't said anything really about it. So I have a surprise. Yeah. I have a surprise for us and it's going to help the channel. It's going to help us grow friends. It is. It's going to help the channel grow. It's going to help us reach more people. Yeah. I'm excited. So bunker boys from my freaking, from my heart. Seriously, boys from my sincerest, sincerest heart. Thank you guys. Thank you. You are my brothers, the Bunker brothers. You're my friends. You guys support me. You stand behind me. You believe in me. I'm being serious. Thank you. Thank you all so, so much. Happy anniversary to the Bunker boys. I love all you guys dearly like brothers. If it wasn't for you, this would not have happened. It would not have happened. This was a good thing. A really good thing. Be kind, friends. I hope you've been enjoying the content lately. Over now. What do you got there? Oh, yeah. Cool. Didn't leave. See you, boys. Say goodbye to your friends. They don't. I, I just brought them back because we realized they had to finish. Yeah. Like to have all the passports. Yeah. So there's, there goes shift one, and there's shift two. Over and out, guys. There they go. These men are extraordinary people. Extraordinary people. I don't, uh, <sighs> what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you say? 
What do you say to that? I mean, friends. Pretty amazing. You know, so we're a long ways away yet. We're a long ways away. You know, well, there we are in there. And all that, this has been a journey, friends, so far. So I got some work to do. I got to get some work. It's not like we're going to be firing up the, the, the bunker and making axes yet. She's not ready. But what a freak and what a, what a cool thing. I love you people. Thanks so much. Be kind. <laughs>